Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Hadassah Serka. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. Now let's see what's today's history with Noah. Thank you, Hadassah. How you doing, Patriots? Today in history, on September 11th, 1941, the construction of the Pentagon began. In Arlington County, Virginia, the Pentagon is the world's largest building and the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense, including the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. The Pentagon is the symbol of America's military strength. Did you know that nearly 3,000 military and civilian personnel worked inside it each day? It's got its name because as it was being built, five roads were closed off, so the workers decided to go with the five-sided building. Hmm, I wonder what it looks like on the inside. Let's go to Zarmel for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Noah. Today's tasty lunch is rotini with Italian meat sauce, seasoned breadsticks, turkey and cheese wrap, steamed corn, fresh broccoli, garden side salad, ranch dressing, pineapple tidbits, and your cheese and milk. Tomorrow breakfast is apple frutal, lucky charms, graham crackers, fresh apples, and mixed fruit juice. Students, please keep in mind a lunch menu can change at any time and to always let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. But a petite, now let's go back to Dasa. Thank you, Zermel. That sounds appetizing. Patriots, there will be no chewing gum in school, so spit it out. And for phones, make sure not have them out during school hours. And make sure you're wearing a school jacket or sweater. Here's the deal. K through fourth will have waffles and dress down, but they must complete 25 Imagine Math and Core 5 lessons. And fifth through eighth, they will have a Sunday party with dress down in return. You must do 25 Imagine Math and iReady reading. Make sure to do your instructional software challenges for these rewards. And the top three users will also enjoy the fun. Today, third graders will have their math test and first grade will have their star math. Don't sweat and do your best. Tomorrow, our girls volleyball and boys flag football will have a game against RASG. The boys game will be at 3.30 p.m. and the girls will be at 4 p.m. Let's wish them luck. Now let's view the weather charts with Camilo. Thank you, Hidasa. Hello, Patriots. Today's weather is 88 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Great day to stay indoors. In other weather news, a Coast Guard boat launched into the air because of massive waves in Lake Michigan. If you didn't know, a wave is a water moving in a circular-like rotation. In fact, despite some waves looking scary, it is actually just energy passing through water. You might be thinking, how do they form? They can form due to gravity from the moon, water-like currents, and wing-like gusts. Even though waves can be fun, they can also be just as dangerous. In our case, like this one. Don't you think that seems very oceanic? Now let's switch our pages to happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Valentina Alanis, Pierre Charles, River Collins, Caiz Savant, and Achilles Sansoloni. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Hadassah. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Reynolds, Ms. Anna, Ms. Sands, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Blanc, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Arnold, and Ms. Nelson for getting the correct answer to Monday's daily challenge, which was, what is a group of crows called? The correct answer was a murder. And congrats to Ms. Gregg, Ms. Dinkwa, Ms. Nelson, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Silvera, and Ms. Arnold for yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what's the largest species of bears? The correct answer was polar bears. Now it's for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What's the only big cat that doesn't roar? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day!